Hi everyone, um, Samuel Jackson here. Uh, so this is my second video, um, following on from my first. So for those who've watched my f not watched the first one, I would recommend starting there because this one just follows on from that. Um, so what I did in the first video was, just as a reminder, I compared the EA Studio and MT4 backtesters and showed how they compared with each other. And then using the EA that I uh, did that comparison with, I've now put that on to my um, VPS on a, on, on a Metroid terminal for a week. That's traded on a demo account. And I've closed all the, um, the orders at the end of the week. And um, now I'm going to show how the back tester compares with those real results. So getting into it, uh, I'm going to start by just uh, opening the MetaTrader back tester. And let's go and have, now this, this is an account that I had, it's not like a fresh new demo account. This account has been trading for a while. Um, but essentially this is when it's the fifth and the ninth, um, the ninth of the um, of May that I started trading this, so it looks to have made oh, I don't know ten to fifteen trades, and um, so that's nice. That's gonna that's gonna give us a good example. So, um, I will just quickly set up the um, the uh, back tester. So, uh, that's the that's the expert advisor euro JPY open prices and it's uh, M fifteen spread of twenty, um, and setting the dates the date today is it's uh, it's Sunday with me but it's a VPS so it seems to be yeah well, it's two minutes to to midnight but right now it's Saturday that's fine and we will go from Saturday the fourteenth to. Uh, the, so that's gonna that's gonna show us all trades in the back test that happened while the market was open between those two days. So, in start, and um, we can see we've got thirteen trades, and um, the total net profit twenty three point three three profit factor of one point two five. Right, and um, before I compare with the real results, let's just take a look at EA Studio. So um, I've got that here on my other screen, so I'll kind of pull it back and forth. Um, import an expert advisor. I'm going to import that expert advisor. Now, 10 trades. This is the same thing as before, right? So it actually needs that extra 100 bars. Very simple. And um, I've got the two dates. The dates are the same, but it needs that extra 100 bars. So 480 plus 100 is 580. Okay, so now we have our comparison. Um, so uh, 23.34, 1.25, 13. So we can see from the, you know, the output here that it's, it's um, 23.33, 1.25, perfect. So um, moving that off my screen, apologies there. And uh, moving that off my screen, now let's take a look at the uh, how the, the MetaTrader, because we know MetaTrader and EA Studio are the same, we're just going to, it's easier just to show the MetaTrader um, report against the uh, the real trades. So let's just have a little quick look. So this here opened the trade at 7 o'clock, and so does the back tester show that. Um, it closed at 9.45. And it closed at 9.45. So it wasn't a stop loss to take profit. That's always, the times are always going to match in that case, like perfectly. Remember I said last week how sometimes it can just be a, a, out by a bar. Um, and that's just to do with uh, a little bit of a difference in the back testers. And, I mean, it's, and, and when it takes a stop loss and take profit, it, it can just be a little bit different. But usually the, uh, the well, always the important numbers aren't, aren't, um, aren't an issue. Um, so... Uh, we can see that that was profit of 10, profit of 9.53. Um, so having a look, so what I want to do now, and, and that's, you know, I could work through it, but let's just, what I want to do is quickly, I could do, I want to, I want to just uh, obviously sum up these, these uh, profits and take a look and just get a little bit of a feel for how it compares, right? So could do this in many ways. I could open FX Blue and, and read it into that. There's 13 trades. I'm just quickly going to do a quick check using Excel. 
So what I'm doing here is I'm just quickly going to write down these 13 numbers, the 13 profits. So just bear with me for two seconds. Um, 39, 8.99. Um, right, there we go. So, looking at that, we have, um, we've got our, that's our 13 trades. You can see the sums 20.83, but what I will do is I will, I'll separate it. So I'm going to um, sort that smallest to largest, and I'm just going to get a sum of the losing trades here, and a sum of the winning trades here. Um, and I will then add those two together. Okay, so that's going to give me my net profit. So, and the other thing I will do is I will divide the uh, all the, the sum of the winning trades by the sum of the losing trades and get the profit factor. So that's the profit factor, 1.22, right? Um, just check this out. Okay, so we've got a profit factor of one, in the real, this is this is the real trades, we got, um, we, we obviously matched the same number of trades, so we, we, we made 13 trades, and as we can see, in the count here, we've also made 13 trades, right? Count 13. And um, we can see in the meta trader, we can see here that this is the this is going to show us this is the, the gross profit, the gross loss. Um, and bringing up the spreadsheet again, we can see that our gross profit, 114, 116, and um, very close, 93, negative 93, negative 93. So we've got very, you know, we're out by a few few dollars and the profit factor is slightly less in real life, but it's, it certainly shows that the open the open price model is uh, is a very good um, indication of how how it will trade in real time, right? Which is which is part of what I'm well, it's, the, it's actually the reason I'm I'm showing this. Um, so now we're pretty happy that things compare very well, right? Um, and so moving on, that that was that was kind of the main point. Okay, right. So there's one other thing, just to maybe just discuss things a, a little bit further. Um, is that what's the reason for the, the the difference? The reason is due to the spread, right? So basically, um, looking at these trades, we can see that this trade here, um, it you know it opened and closed on its signals, and uh, it's closed for a profit in the back tester of ten and point zero six, and here it's slightly less, nine point five three. The reason is the spread was just a little bit higher in real life, right? It was maybe twenty one. 22 um, rather than 20 okay moving down we can see the next trade um, so the profit in the back tester 35.59 okay 34.80 it's the spread was a little bit higher right again 20, 21 22 23 something like that um, and then we can see here these two in the back tester both have done exactly the same profit but looking here the first one actually made a little bit less profit, therefore had a slightly higher spread in real life. But the next one, actually, the spread was obviously a little bit less than 20 and, and, and more profit has been made in real life, right? But 20 has shown itself to be a pretty good average. Um, and so, yeah, and so that's, you know, I could work, through, I don't think we need to go further down there. Um, and yeah, as a, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This is just a, a little play, so it's not necessary, but just as an example. Um, we can see that in the back testing, we, we got 23.33. In real life, we got 20.8, right? I'll bring up that spreadsheet just to remind me. 20.8, okay? So there's a, there's a tiny little difference there. Just to show the sensitivity, um, I could go to, let's say, a spread of 24 quickly. So this is this is just for this week. An average spread of 24, what would we have gotten? We would have gotten 19.31, right? So s somewhere between 20 and 24 would have been the perfect kind of, um, you know, spread to have traded for this. But that's just kind of for this week. Um, so, you know, I can then maybe go uh, 21 and hit that again. And we can see up 22.33. Let's try 23. 
Um, and this, this, this is just me kind of playing again. Ah, oh, okay, 20.3. So we can actually see that that's, very, that's, that's a little bit closer. It's really not a big deal. The fact is that in for this week, it, it traded closer to an average spread of 23 for the CA. Um, but, you know, from doing these test slots, um, with, when, you've got a, when you're trading with a, a broker with no commission, certainly Black Bull, um, I've found that a spread of 20 is, is a pretty good um, representation. Likewise, if I've, I've done the same things, and Petco will always say, um, use, use 10, um, and that's, that's, what, that's what I do in most of my trading. I use 10 with a um, raw account um, broker because that keeps the spreads a little lower and um, a bit steadier, and um, that's, that's Petco's recommendation. Um, so that's that's kind of um, everything I want to show here. So in my, I hope that was helpful. I think it's I think it's a good place to start, especially for you know people who haven't been using a studio that long. It it, it, it just it just gives a good um, a good example of how how when you're working in EA studio, how that compares to real life. Which which from this point forward, what I intend to do is work pretty much mostly in EA studio and actually kind of mock tests and um, results in EA Studio and, you know, get, get a feel for how a system works purely in EA Studio, which at this point we can kind of see that that, that, that will work well. Um, and so in my next video, what I'm going to show is I'm going to show a little example of that, quite a simple example of just, you know, just just coming up with a, uh, or, or using, you know, not necessarily coming up, just using an idea for, oh, this might be a good kind of um, a little strategy trading system, and then running that through EA Studio and very quickly um, holding back a month's uh, data for testing and then just quickly checking if I would have been profitable, profitable or not, and if the system was kind of a good one. Um, all within EA Studio, so that allows for really fast, um, fast kind of you know development and testing of strategy ideas and systems, um, all done within EA Studio. So that's for the next video. I hope that was helpful. Um, I've moved around a bit, but I, I'm 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 sure it's I'm sure it's shown what I wanted to show. And um, so till next time, um, cheerio.